bunches on the hillside. Little bunches made a tiki daddy and an old maid. Made a tiki daddy and an old maid. Just to say, no. Why do we have to put ourselves in boxes? Tatra Masi. You're it. Ha! <laughs> You're everything that's going on. In other words, you are a particular place at which the whole universe is focused. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad, like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking, they have lost touch with reality. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth, and a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. To get in touch with reality, there is an art of meditation, of what is called yoga or jhana in India, Chan in China and Zen in Japan. It is the art of temporarily silencing the mind, of stopping the chatter in the skull. Of course, you can't force your mind to be silent. That would be like trying to smooth ripples in water with a flat iron. Water becomes clear and calm only when left alone. And you say, who's in charge around here? Well, nobody's in charge. There never was anybody in charge. 